you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying how a little bit that was just a little bit of input into the system changes pain, changes pain, and, and, and so very. So, but the other thing is, we want to. I want to check for lower cross here. So you're going to sit on the end of the bench here, please. Okay. All the way to the edge. Good. And I'm going to just have you lean back. But first of all, can you just um, kind of bend, bend forward and just check in with what that feels like in your back? Just kind of bend forward. No, stand. Go ahead and stand up. Okay. And just like bend over and kind of. See what that feels like in your back. Do you feel tightness or pain as you bend over like that? Up through here? Okay. And then back, and kind of extend backwards into it. Any pain there with that? Just tightness. Just tightness there. So bend forward again. And rate the pain 0 to 10. 0 being nothing. 4 or 5. 4 or 5. Okay. All right. Now let's sit on the end of the bench. Now we're going we're gonna to lean. We're going to stay all, stay all the way to the edge, though. Alex, there you go. And lean back and pull your knees up. Can you bring your knees up to your chest? You okay there? Yeah. Good. I'm going to let one leg fall, and we're going to check and see how tight her muscles are in the front. Let this leg just get real heavy and drop. Okay. Now, we talked about the, remember the hip muscle in the front, the psoas muscle, that big, uh, in the cow would be the filet mignon, if you can. <laughs> the, 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 it would be the New, the New York strip. Thank you. I should have just said the New York strip. and not. Okay. So we're going to take, the the, it was the cow thing, yeah. <laughs> See, now just laughing, that's going to turn on her core, and it's gonna, she's going to be completely better. <laughs> Laugh more, right? Okay. Now, all right, so, you've, so we've got, usually we're going to see a nice fall about 10 degrees below the table. So we've got a little bit of stiffness here, but I've seen them come up and just be like this. With the, with the amount of tightness in the hip, so so this is not like you know top of the list, but it's enough to get a get a therapeutic benefit by by loosening it and letting it relax, okay. And again, for this test to be, you have to really kind of push the back to the the low back to the ground to get a good test on this. And yes, and that's so I'm looking at the psoas muscle, the the <laughs> the psoas muscle, and then there's also the hip flexor muscle that runs from the hip and goes below the knee. So you'll also see tightness if the knee goes out like this and doesn't fall. So she's a little bit tight through the we'll call it the quad muscle in the front, right? When I push, you feel the tightness through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so these so these are just uh, muscle imbalances that occur over time. But again, you know I've seen much much worse than this. Uh, and it's really not as bad as, but still you have quite a bit there whenever I push. You feel that kind of zing, zing through there. Now what we're going to do here with her is she just push gently up towards me. And that's all. Good. And then just let it fall and let it relax, let it drop. And so we turn on the muscle and then we let it, let it fall. We just kind of turn it on, turn it off. Push up again. Good. A little bit stronger, a little bit more oomph there. Can, can you give me a little bit more? Good. Good. Now take a nice big breath into your belly, and you see where the breath went there, up into her chest. So it's a breathe, it's a breathing issue too. Okay, but I'm just looking at one piece of the puzzle. Let it fall. Good. Okay. Good. Let's push up again, Alex, right here. Good. I'm going to breathe into my hand down low, right here. Better, and then release and let it go. So you can kind of train as you as you treat. Just can. Just bring all this stuff to consciousness because she, she's in a program. She's in a loop of way, of way of doing things. Okay? So one more time. Push up. A few breaths down low. Sometimes I'll say breathe down into your pelvic bowl. Send the breath down into the bowl. Imagery is really the, the best way to work with stuff. Okay? So, so we've relaxed that out a little bit. It's not tremendously down, but we've got, you know, 10 or, 10 or 15 degrees out of it. When I push her back, you know, she's... A little more of a downslope there, so we'll look at the other side. Same thing here. You're gonna push up. Just gonna hold that for a few breaths. You know where to send your breath now. Way down low into your pelvic bowl. Good. And one more good breath in, Alex. And then let that leg fall and get heavy on the exhale. Okay. So this is not a stretch. This is me helping her nervous system let go. I'm not. I'm not breaking up muscle fibers here and busting through things, right? I'm just relaxing, helping her nervous system relax and let that muscle go. Push up again. And breathe again. And release and let it go. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, you know, we may, 
I made a little bit of an impact there. So this is this is what I do. As I do something, and then okay, do the thing that hurt again. Do something, audit. Always audit because how do you know if it's working? That's the biggest thing I hear is like, well, I've been going for three times a week for six months. And I don't know if it's working. Well, I'll, I'll tell you the first day whether it's working. Okay, stand up. Okay, so again, no, no, not expecting miracles here, but go ahead and bend over again. See if that takes any of the tension out of the back. I mean, I mean did you feel this? I mean, is it uh, like four? So it was a four, you said, five before? Four or five. Okay, and what is it? Two, or maybe one. Maybe one? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really relaxed. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. that muscle, like, it attaches to every single one of your lumbar spine vertebrae. All, it attaches all the way up. Turn around. It attaches all the way up to here. That psoas muscle does. Okay? So much power in that. Now, so for her, now, this is not her own, this is not her big issue. She's got a lot of issue up here as well, as far as the upper crust. <laughs> you can you can see it and uh, you know so uh, so the other thing I would do with her is I to think us women carry the weight on yes the, yeah, that's right um, lay on your back here just lay flat on your back so the other thing we would do here is bend the knees up is we would check you know the tension so just like we check the tension in that psoas muscle that gets overloaded we would check the pecs for the upper quarter so we would go here and we, we should fall about 30 degrees below the table. Let the arms just rest. Let them fall. Okay. So, so again, not the worst I've ever seen, but not 30 degrees below. We're maybe 10 degrees below. So we would do a um, nice, easy push up. You would make a gentle fist with your hand. So we're going to switch the nervous system on the opposite direction first. And you're going to take a breath in. You're going to release and let it all go. And open up your hands. Reach them, spread them, and reach them towards the floor. Reach down towards the floor. Go, go, go. Go, push up again. Good. One more good breath in, Alex. On the exhale, reach for the floor with your fingers. Spread your fingers and reach for the floor. Okay? So, so she, needs, she needs to be opened. And her right, her right shoulder just shifted and kind of clunked. Did you feel that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feel good? Or, or not so good? Oh, not so good. Not so good? <laughs> then forget I said that. No, no, no back up again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> come on, come on back up again. All right. Now, go ahead and stand up again. Okay. And let's do that forward bend again and just and see, you know, if we can get get out of the... Now, Whoa. Now, 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 pain level, I mean, is it... Still the, still the same it's one? Gone. It's gone. Okay. It's gone. All right. So you see, but it's so, si- it, is this, is it complicated? No. Not when you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's not complicated. So, so, so how do you, so how do you, so, okay, so now you're not going to keep coming back to me to keep having that done to you. You don't need to do that, right? You need to be able to do that on your own.